Hamilton County has seen its biggest spike in new coronavirus cases since this crisis began. As David Winter shows us, county leaders are not taking the news lightly. That the new cases are dramatically increasing. Commissioner Driehaus solemn and direct in today's Hamilton County coronavirus briefing. She laid out the numbers, 4,098 cases of coronavirus, 665 hospitalizations, and 188 deaths in Hamilton County. But it's the rate of increase that's most concerning. Four weeks ago, the week-over-week -week increase in cases was 166. Three weeks ago, 177. The increase in cases nearly doubled last week and nearly doubled again this week. More people are getting tested and diagnosed with a positive diagnosis. However, the recent spike is too large to be explained by just this alone. Proven, Driehaus says, by the fact that hospitalizations are increasing. We were trending downwards week over week increases four weeks ago, 84, then 46, then 33, and now an uptick at 37. And that's expected to increase next week. Now is not the time to stop fighting COVID-19. We are going to be living with this throughout the rest of this year. There's no vaccine, there's no cure. The way that we fix it is by working as a team and doing prevention. The spike in cases comes at a very delicate time, just as people and businesses are getting back to normal. Of course, everyone hopes this doesn't lead to shutting down again. But I don't have the ability as a county health commissioner to close down the economy as the director of health did to slow the spread of COVID-19. Okay, so the most you can say is wear your mask, wash your hands. Don't, that is, don't gather in large groups. That is the worldwide message for spreading, slowing the spread of COVID-19. Regarding hospitals, the Health Collaborative says its COVID-occupied beds are also increasing dramatically. Are you concerned right now with our capacity of beds, ventilators, uh, and or PPE? As of right now, not in this moment. However, in a week, could that change? Yes. David Winter, Local 12 News. And the largest increases are seen in Mount Healthy, North College Hill, Forest Park, and Springfield Township. The county plans to have pop-up testing stations there next week. We do have a website and a link to go to those locations at local12.com.